Are you looking for the best cheap keyboards? In this video we will look at some of the best cheap keyboards on the market. Before we get started with our video. We have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. EVGA Z15 Mechanical Keyboard. The best budget keyboard with mechanical switches we've tested is the EVGA Z15. It's a fantastic gaming keyboard that's full-size and has a ton of features you normally find on higher-end keyboards, but this costs less. It's available with Kale Speed Bronze and Speed Silver switches, but since it's hot-swappable, you can put in whichever switches you prefer. All keys are macro-programmable using EVGA's Unleash RGB software, which allows you to customize the individually lit RGB backlighting. Its latency is also extremely low for a responsive gaming experience, and the Kale Speed Bronze on our unit provides a light typing experience. It even has dedicated media keys, so that you can skip through your music while gaming, and it has a game mode that disables the Windows key so you don't accidentally close your game. Unfortunately, the ABS keycaps develop oil shine easily and don't feel as good as PBT, but they're still fine for most people. Also, it has good ergonomics with two incline settings and a wrist rest, but the wrist rest doesn't feel plushy. If these minor issues don't bother you, it's the best budget keyboard we've tested. Number 2. Redragon Dragonborn K630 RGB Mechanical Keyboard. If you're short on desk space, the best cheap keyboard available in a compact size that we've tested is the Redragon Dragonborn K630 RGB. Its compact 60% size opens up more space on your desk, which is great if you play games with a low sensitivity mouse and need that extra space to line your shots up. It comes with your choice of clicky, linear, or tactile Redragon mechanical switches, and it's hot swappable, so you can change out the stock switches without soldering. Although the keyboard is limited on extra features due to its size, you can reprogram all of its keys through the dedicated software. It also has onboard memory if you need to bring your keyboard to another computer. Sadly, its latency is a bit high for competitive gaming, but it's good enough for casual gamers and you shouldn't notice any delay while typing. Also, its typing quality is only decent because there's wobble on most keys and the larger keys, like the spacebar, are unstable. However, it shouldn't be too noticeable while gaming, and it's the best budget keyboard we've tested in a compact size. Number 3. EVGA Z12 Mechanical Keyboard. The EVGA Z12 is the best cheap keyboard we've tested that doesn't use mechanical switches. This full-size model is a great starter board if you're looking to try out a gaming keyboard, but don't want to spend the extra money on mechanical switches, or if you don't like the feeling of mechanical switches. It uses EVGA membrane switches that feel light to press and actuate easily, which are great for gaming but might cause additional typos if you also want to use it for work. It has companion software that allows you to assign macros to any key and customize the RGB backlighting. However, since the keys aren't individually lit, you can only customize the lighting in five zones. Also, it feels decently comfortable to use thanks to its two incline settings, and though it doesn't come with a wrist rest, you can purchase one separately. Unfortunately, the latency is a bit on the higher side for gaming, but this is fine if you're just getting into the gaming peripheral world and want to try a low-cost board to start. Its build quality reflects its price, so the plastic frame flexes a lot, and the ABS plastic keycaps feel cheap, but the board has great additional features usually found on more premium models. With that said, it's still the best budget keyboard with non-mechanical switches that we've tested and a good choice if you're looking for a starter option. Number 4. Microsoft Bluetooth Keyboard Mechanical Keyboard. The best cheap keyboard for the office we've tested is the Microsoft Bluetooth Keyboard. This full-size model is a good option for the office if you have Bluetooth devices. It feels solid even though the frame is plastic and its keys are stable. It has good typing quality and is well suited for open environments as typing on it is very quiet. It uses standard rubber dome switches that require a bit of force to go over the tactile bump. This results in a heavier typing experience, but the pre-travel distance is short, so it still feels responsive. 
It also has some extra features, like the select function keys that you can use for media control or remap to almost any other function you want. Unfortunately, while it works with almost any device with a Bluetooth connection, it doesn't support multi-device pairing, and it uses disposable batteries. It also doesn't have any backlighting and lacks a wrist rest or incline settings to make it more comfortable. That said, if you need something that easily connects via Bluetooth, this is a good option for its price and is one of the best budget keyboards we've tested. Number 5. Kensington ProFit Ergo Wireless Keyboard. If you're looking for an ergonomic board for your office setup, the best budget keyboard we've tested is the Kensington ProFit Ergo Wireless Keyboard. It has a curved shape and a split layout to help reduce the strain on your wrists. It also has three incline settings that angle the board at a negative incline, providing a more natural posture for your wrists. There's also a comfy wrist rest attached. It connects wirelessly using Bluetooth and with its dedicated USB receiver, and you can pair it with one device on each connection type simultaneously. This is great if you have a multi-device setup since you can easily switch between devices using a toggle on the bottom of the board. You won't have to worry about cable management as the board uses two AAA batteries for power. Also, the rubber dome switches are fairly light to type on and provide decent tactile feedback to know when a key's been registered. Unfortunately, it's a large keyboard that takes up a lot of space on your desk, and you can't detach the wrist rest to free up more space. Its typing quality isn't anything special, as the rubber dome switches feel mushy, and the keys have a noticeable wobble to them. With that said, it's the best budget keyboard that we've tested that has comfort at the forefront of its design. Number 6. Logitech K380 Mobile Keyboard. The best cheap keyboard for mobile use is the Logitech K380. It's a simple keyboard available in a compact size, and it's also lightweight, so you can easily slide it into your bag to carry around. You can connect with up to three devices at once over Bluetooth and easily switch between each. It's a low-profile keyboard with light-feeling scissor switches, meaning you won't feel too much fatigue during long typing sessions. Typing feels good because, despite the compact size, there's good spacing between the keys, so you won't accidentally hit some keys. However, it has circular-shaped keys, which may take time to get used to. It's also fairly well-built, so it shouldn't break if you put it in your bag. Unfortunately, it doesn't have any backlighting, so it will be hard to see the keys if you need to use them in a dark environment. While you can remap some function keys through the Logitech Options software, it's only available on Windows and macOS, so you can't do that with mobile software. Regardless, it's still the best budget keyboard for mobile devices.